I'm Dr. Jay Wartman, and uh, you may know me from my research, and uh, some of it's been covered in the media and has been shown on television, but I do research into traditional diet and low-carbohydrate diets and their impact on obesity and diabetes. And today we're going to have a low-carb breakfast because a lot of times people say to me when we talk about low-carb diets, what am I going to eat for breakfast? Because everybody eats toast and potatoes and pancakes and things like that, which you don't eat on a low-carb diet. So what I'm going to cook for you today is my favorite breakfast. It's my low-carb frittata. And frittata is a fancy Italian name for omelet. But it's a little different than an omelet, and I'm going to show you how. So we're going to start with some onion, and you don't want to put too much onion in because onion actually contains some carbohydrates. Onion contains fructose, which is a, is a sugar, and it's the reason that onions get sweet after you caramelize them in the pan. And what I like to do is cook the onions in the pan for a few minutes with a nice big chunk of butter. Over medium heat, while the onions are sauteing, we're going to prepare some eggs, and I, I like these nice omega-3 eggs. They give you a little bit of the essential fatty acid that, that people used to get a lot of it from their fish, from salmon for instance, very good source of omega-3. But not everybody eats enough salmon these days, so I like my omega-3 eggs. So there's six eggs in there. This is whole cream or whipping cream. We'll add that in some coarse ground pepper. And I like lots of pepper. And I also use salt grinder, but you can use just regular salt. On a low-carb diet, you do want to eat salt. When you're eating a low-carb diet, your body loses salt, so you have to make sure you're getting salt back into your diet to replace it. So we just whip that up with a fork. Now the other key ingredient is cheese, and I like Swiss cheese for this, but you can use just about any kind of cheese. Cheddar's fine. I just like the flavor that you get with the Swiss. So we cut a few slabs of it very thinly. We saute the onion until it's nicely cooked and add the eggs. Throw the cheese on top and just cover that surface with the slabs of Swiss cheese. Now we let that cook for just a minute or so to cook the bottom. It cooks from initially from the bottom up and then we're going to put it in the broiler for two or three minutes until it gets nice and golden brown on the top. While it's broiling, we'll slice up a little bit of tomato. Now tomato also contains some carbohydrates. Tomato is actually a fruit. It's not a vegetable and fruits have a little bit of fructose in them. But I, I like a little bit of tomato with my, my breakfast. It certainly adds flavor and color. Okay, you see how nice and brown that got under the broiler? We just slide it out of the pan onto the cutting board. Now we're gonna let it cool down for a minute and then we're gonna cut it into wedges. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna take my pre-cooked bacon. I take the easy way out with my bacon. I buy the pre-cooked bacon that you can microwave in the oven and it just takes a, a few seconds. Now you're probably getting the impression that I'm very lazy. This is a very quick breakfast to make. So I like to cut it in, this was six eggs. I like to cut it into six wedges. You slide a nice wedge of the potato on there. Put the tomatoes on. A little salt and pepper on the tomatoes. Some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is another good source of healthy, wholesome fat. When you're eating a very low carbohydrate diet, you're going to want to eat fat because that's where you're going to get your energy. So there's fat in the eggs, there's fat in the bacon, and there's fat in the mayonnaise. One word about the mayonnaise, make sure you read the label and only use mayonnaise that's made with canola oil or olive oil. You want to avoid the other oils because they have too much omega-6. Mm. This is delicious. The thing you'll find if you're eating a very low carb diet is first of all, you won't wake up hungry in the morning. Your appetite tends to go away. But after eating a breakfast like this, I don't usually get hungry until mid-afternoon. And then I'll eat a small lunch. 
and then I'll come home and have a nice dinner. This is a wonderful way to start the day. Very flavorful and full of good, healthy, wholesome foods.